But without further ado, let's jump back on to the Oberdin and um, see if we can't start putting these people together. All right, so this guy. He disappeared in the Doom, this guy, apparently. Let's have a look at the last part of the Doom he was part of. Part 7. Okay, so we need to find the Doom Part 7, it seems. To try and start identifying this guy. So, let's try and remember where the Doom is. Doom, 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 Doom. Ah, this guy. Well, he should be on the deck, right? Yeah, he's right here. Here's the guy that was torn apart. Alright, we've got to find him first. The French guy. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a good one. All right, we still know who he was. He was a top man. What's going on, uh, Call Me Goobs? Hope you are well, my friend. All right, so we've got three people here who fell overboard. Where was his last one, though? Okay, so he went overboard in this one. He's gone overboard in this one. And he didn't. Okay, so this guy, he fell overboard to his death. Now, who is he? You know, I can find cheap tires for totally legal activities. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one problem with that, I don't live in the States, so, um, <laughs> sorry, my man. I could totally hook you up if you was over here in the UK, but, um, yeah, sorry. All right, so I'm saying this guy is a uh, seaman. He's a seaman. All right, let's let's, let's go through. I want to go for, through first, and is this for your quad bike? You still got your quad? Was it a quad bike you had? Or was it? A, I'm sure it was some sort of quad bike. <laughs> All right, so yeah, he's a. Uh, so we got a top man. We know how those two died. Yeah, he got torn apart. There's there's no question about that. So they're the two topmen. See this guy still <laughs> weren't we just So he was killed by an explosion. So I'm still not sure about that guy, whether or not he was, um, whether or not he was actually killed by an explosion. We just don't see where he ends up. All right, so I've, I can see straight away. 
I can see straight away I've got something wrong because I've got I only have two topmen available and I've got three people listed of topmen so yeah three into two don't go Three into two, do not go. All right, so let's head back to the knockbot. Like, um, like most things I work on, I kind of don't find time to carry it on. Most of the quotes are still active, though. If you um, do, hold on, if we do uh, exclamation mark quote. Yeah, most of the original quotes are I've ported over onto here. So, um, yeah, the quotes from Knockbot still live on to this day. All right, so he's definitely a topman. Yep, we've got his identity. He's a Russian guy. And he's a topman. Okay, so those two are the topmen. So who was the third one that I had? Must be more like this way, I guess. All right, so where's the other guy? Where was he? Here. This guy is not a top man, he is an unknown seaman. Oh wait, no, I have got what I have got three. Okay. Okay, so to me he looks Chinese. I'm going to say, that's who you are. I am just going on assumptions now. Sorry, not assumptions. Educated guesses. Okay, that wasn't right. So you're going to be him. Bit of nostalgia. Hmm. So this is Return of the Obra Dinn, and it's a bit like. I think you Americans call it uh, Clue. We call it Cluedo over here. So it's kind of like a murder mystery game. And basically you you come onto the ship. And everything has basically... The, the ship disappears and then it turns up a few years later. And we are an insurance investigator trying to find out what happened. Um, and stuff. And things. Um, 
sorry. I'm, uh... So we're an insurance investigator. So basically the 60 people was on the original crew. And we've been tasked with basically finding out the fate of all 60 people, how they died. And we have uh, this like uh, stopwatch, which allows us to go back and see different bits and pieces as as things happen so um yeah we're at uh, we're at 51 at the minute uh go away thank you uh yeah we're at 51 it was cook actually i think i think a lot of it was the captain the captain was i think the last one to die on the ship and he committed suicide so um but there, there's some weird and wonderful deaths. Honestly, there's some... Um, we found out that there were some uh, sea creatures that came on board. And the ship got attacked by sea creatures, man. And they are some freaky-looking things. Like, seriously freaky-looking things. I need to try and see... I need to try and see. I need to see if I can find anything else on like bunks and things. I, to be honest, I can't remember how the cook died. Let's check. Let's check how the cook died. Um, the cook died because he was struck by t an enemy, a beast's tail. Like seriously, these things. Let me go and uh, let me go and open up one of these memories. You can just like see them things there. They're like spider things and um there's actually like people riding the spider things <laughs> call me goobs so um yeah some pretty freaking freaky stuff going on here uh was it five two it was five two <laughs> Yeah, so he basically got killed by that tail thing. Ah, uh, this wasn't what I thought it was. This is just sort of like a... But yeah. There are some weird and wonderful things going on. For sure. So where's this guy? Bald-headed guy. Did we find out who he was? Yes, yeah, John Naples, yeah. Okay, we did. Where are you? Surgeon's mate. These people be dead. Oh, wait a second. He got spiked by a terrible beast. Is that right? Friends. 
一个海底较低的木果吼，一声人闻死的啊！伊吐着流的血啊 ！Very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Speared by a beast. Yeah, there's something weird about the shell. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. He's definitely the Chinese man because he's talking to the Formosans, and I think I seen or I, I think I've I know that the Formosans have been talking to them. Now this guy, I'm pretty sure he is the guy from New Guinea. So that would mean the guy in chapter ten. So I think that's speared more than spiked. I love the way the doctors just kind of like stood there, like, "Hey, what's going on here?" So, um, Queso. Is that Mexican food? Right, isn't there a guy?
two, three. What's the difference in four? Oh, that's it. He died out here. He's not a top man. He's a seaman. I think. Don't talk about food, man. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Wait, is this guy... Hold on. Do I make him a seaman? Which then makes him a top man. So, right, so here's he. <laughs> yeah, right time of the year for that one. So, is he um, in this one? say the wind is alive the wind is alive with the sound of music I need to check. Uh, I haven't played zombies in such a long time. Um, I last played in Black Ops 3. I uh, didn't buy Infinite Warfare. Um, Activision actually gave me a free copy of... Uh, they gave me a free copy of... World at War, although I, I haven't actually played the zombies on that. And, um... I haven't got the new one. Sorry, I'm... So yeah, I don't know how how it is or how it plays or anything like that. I really know little of Call of Duty. Hmm. 
me see. Maybe I've got this wrong. Well, clearly I've got this wrong. <laughs> I think it was. It was. It, it seemed like it was like a. Um, it seems like a thing where I was like, "Hey, you've you, you've not played Call of Duty this time." Uh, here's, here's a free copy. Maybe sales were down something. Who knows? Where is our other top man? Did we get his identity? Yep, we did. So I'm not seeing him. Here, am I? So let's go to the next part. Death Metal Man. That must have been a long time ago, jeez. Is he in this one as well? Mm, no. So we got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And we had him climbing on there. And this is the guy that just got electrocuted. So I missed him. That must have been um, way back when, when I was streaming, um, when I used to stream uh, like sort of lunchtime for me, which I don't do anymore actually. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the other guy? He's in there. Got him. See this other guy anywhere. He's meant to be in this scene, but I can't see him anywhere. Oh no, he's not in the scene. He's not. What am I what am I even talking about anymore? I don't know. He died at sea.
Okay. I need to start to see if I can find some Okay, so we've got Topman uh bunk 40 43 and 44 and then seaman uh 55 57 58 59 now i've got actually here against 58 a lighter shoe well, let's go down to a bit of cold then and see if we can see something before we did that actually okay so that's one We know him. We know him. We know him. We know him. We don't know him. Okay, so that's two right there. Head down. <laughs> Fifty six, we've got fifty five is one we need, but we can't really see. to see there 57 is hiding away uh, 58 yeah 58 has got like a bit of a lighter shoe possibly even a pattern you can see like the boot the shoe marks See anything about thirty six, thirty seven, forty two? That's not very helpful at all. Doesn't help at all. Got those guys. All right, so that's potentially a lighter shoe on fifty eight. Now, where was I? Where was that other scene? There was another scene, wasn't there?
check his accent out. I think it's this one, isn't it? It's the painter. It's the death of the painter. I think is where we can look around a bit more. Sorry for that dude, I think he got like the He had like the squits and then as he was doing his business overboard He was uh kind of attacked by the Kraken. been clubbed to death. Where's that guy? So he, I mean, I think the Chinese can speak English as well, so he could be English or Irish. Speaks in the Doom Part Four. All right, let's check that out. Let's try and listen for his accent. Well, I would say he's that then, because he definitely didn't sound English or Irish.
also need to go back to the previous scene because he just disappears and I don't I don't maybe he's over, gone overboard I said he's exploded but he was stood right behind I'm not sure what happened to him. Still none the wiser. I don't really know what what's going on. Aaron? I don't really know what accent that is. Say Irish, but I really don't know. Alright, my man. I look forward to listening. Be sure to send it over because uh, I'm good. I'm off to London tomorrow, though. So, um, if sure to send it over and I can listen to it on the train or something on my way to London So uh, tomorrow night. So, uh, be sure to send it over. But I'm good. Thank you very much. How are you? I think you said you got a, a week off this week. I think the shells, the shells. 
I need to do another one. I was going through my mixed cloud at the weekend, listening to some music, and um, <laughs> I haven't done a I haven't done a proper mix since October. It's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to check out the the nudge guide here because I'm struggling. So this is. Uh, the calling, and this is which part? Part two. There's a lot of confusion going on here. Try and work out the nationality of semen, and the man's identity should become clear. Hmm. Really, that long? Surely not that long. Really? Wow. All right, I'm not really sure about him. Unholy captives, part one. This man can't be definitively identified. You need to identify more of the crew before there's only one person this man could be. Okay, well. Doesn't help me at the minute then. That's crazy, man. The Doom Part 4. Uh, you can't even see this man's corpse. You can see him a little earlier though, but you'll need to have most of the names placed to place him. Because the man was shot overboard, you have a choice of which cause to use here. All right, so. He was shot overboard. Okay, so let's say he was, f he fell overboard then. But we don't know who he is. Uh, part seven of the doom. Don't jump to conclusions. Find this man at work first. Yeah, well, he is a topman. And then identify the other topman first. The obvious one here is correct. <laughs> well, yeah, he got ripped apart by the Kraken man. Conclusions of the Doom, 91. This man has left something below deck that can identify him. His last appearance is later than you'd expect. Okay, so he's left something below deck that can identify him. Okay, so let's try and find where that is then. Right, so let's start let's start with the doom then I guess the doom part one all right man no worries good luck with the rest of your mix hope it goes well
kill by proper. What? Well, that's not him, is it? So I want this guy here, I think. That was an accident. No probes. Oh no, it is this guy. Alright, so where's two? So the corpse of two is the painter. Let's go check out the painter. Well, if this is happening straight after... Anybody that's in their bunk at the minute. It's currently 43 or 44. Hold on though, is... So, so he has got to be right. This guy. He dies in the calling part one.
which then means that these two have got to be the other two topmen, but that's not accepting my answer. Yes! So that's all my topmen done. Get in. Like I, I, I had, it had to be fate. And then there were six. So we only have semen left. All right. The Doom Part Four. All right, so that's the guy that got blasted off. We're going to say that he got sheath. Fell overboard or shot by no shot by a cannon. So, um, so where are the other two? First of all. See the doom, didn't it say that there's something underneath? Yeah, she was looking for him, wasn't we? Where did he fall from, though? So, Doom Part 7. Doom Part Four. All 
Unholy Captives Part 1. And then the calling part. Part two. Um, to unholy captives part one. He can't be identified. We need to identify more of the crew before there's only one person left that it could be. All right. So I'm thinking. This guy then in the unholy captives is going to be the guy we identify. We probably need to find the other three first, right? Uh, the calling part two. All right, let's go back to the calling. As we go to the next six point three sorry seven three so this is this guy dying here I'm looking for something below deck that can be used to identify this guy. Don't need to say that he killed him though. Was well, technically an accident. Welcome back, Aaron. We are on the final six people. We're trying to identify the final six people here. That's the Doom, the Doom Part 7, which is above deck, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine, buddy. It's this guy who was torn apart, isn't it? Right. Alright, so I'm looking for this guy here. I've said that he fell overboard. It's 
so it'd be one, two, three, four. But I think this guy died a lot earlier. Yeah, he dies in the Doom Part 6. That's where he falls overboard. So then Nathan Peters, this guy, and this other guy all fall overboard. Okay. So, the Purser and Nathan Peters. What nationality are they? Uh... Scotland. English and Scottish. Hmm. I don't think that really helps. Well, he's definitely fallen overboard. He's definitely been ripped up by the Kraken, thrown overboard. So. About the guy in the Doom Part Four. Doom Part Four. It's that guy. Oh wow! Was you recording WAV? I need to try and listen again to the. I need to try and pick up the accent that's being used. I'm guessing you recorded in WAV. Alright. Let's listen. The guy that says the fuse, I think, is German, so that, or Austrian, which is the, um, this guy, the Christian Wolf guy. So it doesn't help us. So this is basically, think, um, think Cluedo. So the story is the merchant ship, the Oberdin, set sail from England to uh, like South Africa or somewhere like that and um, disappeared. A few years later, it turned up all 60 of the crew are dead. Uh, we are kind of investigating or trying to piece together what happened. So we have a stopwatch, and every time we uncover a corpse, we corpse we can use the stopwatch to see um, to hear a bit of audio and then examine the scene of of what actually happened. So the idea is we've got to work out um, what happened to each of the sixty crew members um, ha and how they died, and if there is a like a murderer or somebody killed them, who actually killed them. So I'm actually on 54 out of 60. So I'm on the last six. I only need to work out another three, and then I'm pretty much there. So, um, yeah, we're very, very close to the end. I've got four seamen, like, basically... Two of the people I can't work out until I have solved 
that there's a there's a hidden chapter in the book. So two of the people. Thanks, Winner. What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Um, there's a chapter eight in the book which only gets uncovered once we've um, identified fifty. I think fifty-eight of the sixty. Uh, so I know the two people there. I don't know how they those two died. So I've got four people left that I'm trying to basically a work out who they are. I think I've nailed down all the ways that they have died, but it's just trying to work out the identities now, and that's what's absolutely kicking my ass. Because there really isn't a lot to go on here, at all. How's tricks there, Winter? You good? How's the uh, job hunting going, my friend? Um, so, we have a guy from Sierra Leone, two Englishmen and an Irishman. Yeah, I'm practically done. We've already uncovered two of the endings. It's literally, once we've worked out these last few, we are home and dry. We're done. It's just getting there. Uh, the calling part two. So I said he is Irish. So what's his dialogue in this bit here? Give us a weapon. Yeah, um, I was I was really actively thinking about it a while ago, but I never actually got round to implementing it. Unfortunately, and other things sort of like get in the way. Life, house, decorating. Wife wants to spend money on this, that, and the other. So, um, yeah, I am still contemplating, but I need like all the lighting and, and different bits and pieces. So. I'm not sure I want to rely on kind of like a cheap, uh, like a cheap kind of like eBay kind of lighting bits and pieces. The game is really good though, Winter. I really enjoyed this. It's um, it's kind of I've never played a game like this before. All right, I've got to listen carefully. Give us a weapon is I got to try and see if I can identify the accent of the guy who says "Give us a weapon" here. Okay, I'm going to stick with this guy's Irish. I, I think... I honestly don't think he's Sierra, Sierra Leone, and he wasn't an English accent. So, I'm going to stick to, and say he is the Irish guy. I still think with the layout, though, Winter, the, the top kind of looks a little bit bare, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about that. All right, so that's... If he's the... So if he... If we're saying he's the Irishman... That leaves him, him, and him. So I would say those two are English. This guy is our Sierra Leone guy. But it's not right. Well, yeah. That is very true. Yes! Two more fates. Ooh, only two. Really? You're meant to validate things in three, game. Don't cheat me now. Game, don't cheat me now. All right.
Right, so... Who's left? So we know those two we can't identify. We, can't, we don't know how these two died. So it's not those two. So it's between... The Sierra Leone... And the Irishman. So I guess we just got to swap them around. Okay. Um, so 55 was... I didn't write down what chapter those in. Huh. That's uh, unfortunate. Well, I've got one in the Doom Part 7. Oh, he disappears here. Right, so that guy is gone. Doom Part 4. That guy is gone. So, what? Are you saying then that, that the guy that I said... Yeah, I played around with a lot of things and I kind of wanted to encompass it all, encase it all because I found that this guy must be an Irish guy um, I found that like when you play certain games with the um, like your chat for instance, depending on the colour of the game it's not always easy to see the chat on playback What have I got wrong? Must be a fate? Speared by a beast, perhaps? Or is he spiked by a beast? Might be spiked. Let's try spiked. Uh, yeah, I still actively use it, Aaron. Um, it's um, it pops up. Uh, yeah, look, I still use it. It's there, look. It's on, I think it's on a 10 minute timer on the stream. I don't understand. Yeah, um, I, I found like there were a lot. A lot of times, I was, I'd play games, and um, oh, I, can't, I can't think of what games it was. But for instance, that I'd have like a map in the corner, and I wouldn't think about that. And then I'd like play a game or stream something with my camera in the corner, totally blocking the map. So like you miss half of the freaking game, and people can't see it. So um, yeah, um, definitely, 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 I'm a lot happier. Um, with, yeah, Hacknet. Hacknet was a a prime example, and definitely. So what what crew what crew numbers have we got left? What's the numbers of the crew mates that we've got left? Uh, 55 and 58. Yeah, yeah, it's just little things that you, you, you don't really think about when you, if, if you're streaming, um, and I kind of look back at stuff and I think, damn, that looks not very good. So, um... All right, looks like we're going to have to go into... I 
Unless I've done everything I can do. Alright, what do I want? I want... Unholy Captives Part 1. Which is these guys here. Right. So it's this guy at the back. Yeah, I've, I've got four people left there, and four people, that's it. I know the identities of two of them already. I just don't know why this isn't validating. So this is one guy we need to work out. And I've said that he was he died because he was speared by a beast, right? Unless there's something else that that guy there is doing. So they're hoisting it up. And we can quite clearly see the thing has spiked or speared in this direction. It's gone through this first guy. And it goes all the way through. So why isn't it that the enemy killed him? Um, we're on. Yeah, I think that's speared because the guy here was well, he spiked. So, you know. All right, just let's... I just want to see something. Just on the off chance... On the off chance that... Um, something different will happen. Let's leave the boat. I want to see if anything happens if Chapter 8 gets... Um, All done. We should go. Revealed to us. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Still business here. Climb up and finish it. Else I'll make to port. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> I don't understand why it wouldn't validate those two. It makes no sense. Alright, let's see what happens. All right, so. What's our claim up to at the minute? 29,260. Okay, so we need to see whether or not anything different comes back. Because chapter 8 says it, he, he's only going to reveal it to us at a later date. Wait for the knock at the door.
this hour. Must be important. I'll be turning in now. The tea is all gone, so you might think about going to bed as well. The tea's all gone. Time to break out the coffee. Yeah, coffee. Damn right. All right, so I don't know what's going on here then. I don't know what's going on. What have I done wrong? Coffee, it just, just, just coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Also, have you just like renewed your Amazon Prime or something? That's why you've been on this stream because all of a sudden now you're, you're like popping up with your uh, the Amazon Prime thing. So we have two people left. I don't get this. What's going on, Elfwyn? Thanks for coming back to the stream. Um, appreciate your help as well on Friday. The uh, the little nudges and things. Nice. Can, I, can, I, can, can you send me an invite when it's done in winter? I don't know what I'm doing wrong on these last two, though. Because... I know that those two are right. The, the top two are right. Because you've got Martin and the Captain Steward. I'm pretty darn sure that they both were speared and I've tried the names both way around. So I, honestly, I don't, don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I want this one, I think. See, neither of those other two are in this scene. I just wanted to double check that. Just wanted to double check. It's this guy here and this guy here. Check out the pages that aren't validated yet. All right, so that's uh, Unholy Captives Part 1. got the calling part two a beast really I call BS on that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because there are other people that died on there that got speared by the same thing. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright. No, it's all beast. 
All right, I overlooked it. My bad. I take it all back. I'm sorry. All right, so we are all done now on the Oberdin. So, now we get to uncover chapter eight. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. I know, right? The audacity. <laughs> Look at my follow account drop in. <laughs> so you don't fall out. All right, so does this? I I wonder how this is going to play out though, because obviously. Henry has died in both of the other endings that we've seen. Alright, so we've got everybody. Apart from Martin and the Captain Steward. The claim is still the same. Do you know what I've just realized as well? I was kind of like randomly kind of picking destinations of where those four people went. And I bet if I'd have read better the introduction in the book, the preface or whatever it is, that Henry actually writes, it probably says in there that they went to Morocco. So I wouldn't have actually had to have guessed as much. Hmm. Hindsight is a fantastic thing. Tea's all gone. Tea's in the kitchen if you need oh, tea's not all gone. Interesting. <laughs> all right, so let's open the book. Open the package. The last three survivors' location ends only revealed in the bad ending. Um, it was in the other ending as well because it said that they was in uh, they were in Morocco. So if if I've seen that, then obviously, um, yeah. But all right, all right. So you, the unfortunate news: Doctor Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your packages. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back, Jane Bird. Okay. What's this? Is that a hand? No wonder it smells dreadful. Jeez. What the hell? All right, well. There you are. Collect your things. Bring the key. To that door. Gone. There's no time. We need to go. Right. What are you up to? Nothing good. Wow. 
Wow, the doctor. The doctor killed the monkey man. What the hell? Poor monkey. So Martin has been spiked. What happened to him? There you are, collect things. Where's key? Is that door gone? So the minute. Okay, so a friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Okay, what did the front of the book say? I just wanted to double check. Yeah, you see, if I'd have read this, um, I return the book by a guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Although it doesn't actually say that he's there. Okay. The tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. All right. Let's uh, see the next chapter, shall we? Okay, so this sounds like the captain was keeping one of these things and Martin it sounds like was trying to almost protect the ship. So mine's trying to yeah, mine's trying to protect the ship by getting rid of it and almost throwing it back over to the the creatures and the beasts is what I, I take from that. So, I think he was spiked by a terrible beast. He's definitely got a spike sticking through him. Give it the shell. Hoist it out to the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Okay. Oh, jeez. Do we get to see one of the beasts? Really? 
Not sure I want to see this. Jeez. He's already dead. I think he's gone into this chest and taken the shell. There's nobody else in here, is there? It kind of seems like at this point he's... He's trying to get rid of the beasts, isn't he? Just me though, is it doesn't look like he's like he's been like tied up as a prisoner down here. Captured Beats fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. Okay. So he's uh yeah. He's only just died by the looks of him. Oh, wait, whoa, that's a captain. I thought that was Martin. Jeez. Oh man, I've made a terrible mistake. Okay. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I can tell from dialogue he's um he's trying to tell them to to withdraw the the kraken and things. Yeah, I totally got his identity wrong though. I thought that was the uh, the captain. I, I, sorry, I didn't realise it was the captain. Unholy creatures defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. To this guy. So he's opening the chest and taking the shell. What's this? Quicksilver. I get the impression that everybody that touches these things gets burnt. Because the same thing happened to the... Yeah, this is like fire, isn't it? The same thing happened to the Formosan in the boat when they're off the boat. He kind of like... He, he reached in and his arm was all burnt. Uh, looks like the same thing's happened to him here. He's lost his arm. He's literally burnt his arm off. But he's left holding the shell. I almost wonder if, like, these things that the shells are in are kind of like some way of um, almost like masking them in, in a certain way. So when they're in those trunks, and I might be completely wrong, but when they're in the trunks the beasts can't actually detect them. The minute they pull them out, that's when...
Quicksilver, okay. I don't really know anything about Quicksilver, so... That is all 60 fates. All right. But we still have one achievement left to get. Okay, so I've missed something though somewhere along the lines, and I don't know what I've missed, because there is an achievement left to get. Beng did put the shell from the drawer into the liquid to stun the creatures. Okay. So how, how, it's a hidden achievement as well. I don't know how, oh my goodness. This is going to bug me. Yeah, I'm just looking at that at the minute. But it looks like I've got to... Oh, wow. It looks like you've got to do it in a certain amount of time. Oh, this is crazy. Let's bring up the um let's bring up my display capture a minute. So this is what we're looking at. <laughs> Alright, so it says you complete the game and are coming back to get this achievement specifically, which is what is more also the case, and some advice applies above. Start the game, head to the first course, and then back to the ferry to pick up your items, and simply move throughout the ship, going from e through each chapter and discovering each memory of every death. Once you have heard the ferry yell about the storm coming, um, and you see the rainfall, and you'll want to save your game and make a copy into one of the other slots from the main menu in order to have a backup in case you make a royal goof in the process of applying names and deaths to the crew. Holy, oh my goodness, really? So basically I've got it's it's almost like a speed run. Wow. Um, blame every death on the captain.
No worries, Aaron. Thanks. All right, maybe I'll try that off stream or something. But yeah, that's um, definitely something I'm not going to be trying anytime soon. <laughs> Jeez, that looks insane. An absolutely insane thing to do. But um, all right, so to wrap up, um, really enjoyed this game. It was something uh, I've never played a game like this before. So it was... Um... Oh, Alfred, if you've got a save, that would be amazing. And then I guess I've just got to run through everything and um, assign the, the pictures in the desk. But if you if you have and you can, that would be fantastic. I would really appreciate it, buddy. But yeah, this is game. I've never played anything like it before. Um, wasn't really sure what to expect, although I knew obviously there was a bit of sort of like Cluedo kind of element around it. Um, and yeah, I it kind of started off slow. In the middle, it was kind of quite quite fast paced, and we was getting quite a lot in a stream. And then from sort of like the last stream, like trying to tie up the loose ends, it kind of like really, really slowed down again. Um, and I feel tonight, like my my letdown tonight was probably I had the wrong um, deaths kind of um, like associated with people, and I was kind of like, but it should be right, that's the right identity. But clearly, it wasn't because I got the wrong deaths. But um, no, really good game. I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah, Overly wasn't too... Uh, El Elfwin, you are an absolute legend. Seriously, thank you very much. That is like a... That is fantastic. Let me uh, pull that down to my desktop. I'll def I'll do that off stream anyway, for sure. Um, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, this was. Um, I say, very cool game. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, thanks once again to LB for gifting the game to me. And um, so what? Let me. Uh, Hold on. What am I doing? Get rid of this and should have turned that off before, but hey ho. Uh, but yeah, many thanks to LB for gifting the game. Let me just, uh, I'll tell you what, let me, I guess we just drop it into the f Steam folder in its folder in Steam. Is that how it works, Elfwin? Uh, return of Oberdin. Where is it? Oh, I just called Oberdin in the Steam folder. Okay. Data. Oh, it's in app data. Okay. Da, 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 da. I really like the soundtrack as well. The soundtrack is uh, is absolutely fantastic. Um, where is it? Uh, where you be? I hope I was looking in the right folder, perhaps. What's well, um? I was just about to say what's um. Uh, Lucas Pope's uh, development company called. All right, so let's fire up Oberdin again. Just check. All right, so 
Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What was I looking at? What was I reading? Don't want that. I want this one. Captain did it. Right, so what do we actually need to do? Well, I might as well just do it now that we're here, maybe. Um, now you need to blame every death on the captain. As a general rule, you want to be wrong because at the very least you can make sure you still have the wiggle room to change something later if you accidentally record the correct death of a crew member. It's it's locked and there's no way to undo it without loading a copy of a save over and over again. Because of this, you must be very careful and wait to place blame on the captain for any death until after everything is unlocked and you can make a backup of your save for safekeeping. To this end, ensuring you choose the wrong method of death is the safety's method. While it would be very funny to say the captain ate every person of the ship, it's tons faster to say he axed everybody, since it's still higher on the list and something, something, and something. I think there is somebody that's axed potentially. The captain must be blamed for his own death, but I was again careful and said he used a noose. Everyone except for somebody must be said to have been killed by the captain, as you see from it. I guess it's Martin. Yeah. Martin and the steward, because you can't assign a blame. And then we have these images. <laughs> it's quite a funny achievement, though, to say the captain just went on a freaking massive rampage and um, killed absolutely everybody. Um, I just want, I, I just don't know about, um, is there a, I wonder if there's like a, an image that I can use. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Obradin. Uh, I would in sketch with names. Yeah, it's going to take too long to go through that. I just want a basic spoil guide. That's what I want now. <laughs> Sod the hints and nudges and stuff. We worked it all out. Oh, jeez. I feel like I could identify a good chunk of them from playing the game, but um, there's also sort of like quite a few of them that I wouldn't know. Oh, this, this, this could probably work, actually. This guide could probably work. All right, I need to open it up there in a separate browser. Let's open it up over here. Alright, so let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Uh, what are we on? Display catch. Let's get rid of that. Alright, 
Okay. So. Captain. Um, first mate is this guy. And he was axed by the captain. Ah, uh, no, this isn't going to work. Because it. Uh, I can't scroll. <sighs> right, that's the fourth mate was axed by the captain. Second mate is this guy. He was axed by the captain. Then we have Martin, who is this guy. We don't know what he did. Uh, I can't remember who he is. He's the Bonson's mate. He was axed by the captain. This is Henry Evans. He was axed by the captain's. We have a theme going on here. Um, surgeon's mate. He was axed by the captain. Carpenter. Oh. Axed by the captain. Carpenter's mate. Oh, shit. He's the carpenter's mate. So that means he's the carpenter. And he was axed by the captain. Uh, the butcher is this guy up here. Gunner is got the carbons the wrong way around. I can't do it. Shit. Uh, yes, I can. I can't remember who the bonsom is, though. That's the problem. The bosun, sorry. Passenger, Abigail, that's you. What's going on, money, money, panicky? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, then I, this, is, this is my problem. I don't know. I don't know any, anybody else. I don't know anybody else. Paul Moss is. That's him. He was axed by the captain. Top hat, top hat. This guy? Uh, the cook. Oh, crap. I think he was the cook. I've, I, I've probably blown it now anyway. Blown it well and truly. <laughs> Funnily enough, there was 57 people on that ship that were all axed by the captain. 
Can you believe it? Um, all right, so I, I need I need some sort of guide, some sort of reference that I can use to kind of like go through that. Um, yeah. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know well enough. Um, each and every one of the like crewmates and the and the people. So um, yeah, I think that's something I'm probably going to have to work on um, off stream. If I'm honest. Uh, anyway, money panikini, panik, po, paniki, po, money puniki, money puniki. Hello, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I was a bit like all flustered when you joined. I do apologise. One of the problems is though, I can't. It would really help if I could like move the mouse out because then I could just scroll down. So that off with. Thank you very much for the help. Thank you very much for the safe file. I appreciate it a lot. I mean, the other thing to try is I could try using shift and tab. Let's give it a go. Right. So. Captain. Suicide noose. Uh, this is Return of the Oberdin. Uh, we've finished it off tonight, actually. And um, we're just now going through... It doesn't tell me everything. It doesn't tell me everything. All right, well, I think I think we're done with this. I'm gonna ha seriously, I'm gonna have to kind of like look at it more um, in my own time. But um, like I said, though, fantastic game, really enjoyed it. Um, if you um, into sort of like a mystery game and um, you know, kind of like a murder mystery kind of thing, then you would really, I think you'd really enjoy this game. Um, Again, thank you very much to LB for gifting me the game. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. That is bringing us to the end of the stream. As always, everything is on stream, on the screen, on the stream, screen on stream. Uh, check them out if you haven't done it already. Our next stream won't be tomorrow night like uh, normal. It will actually be uh, Saturday night. Unfortunately, I am uh, off to London tomorrow night on. Um, work stuff and business so um yeah stream cancel tomorrow we'll be back on saturday night and i think we're going to play the vanishing of ethan carter so um if that sounds like your sort of thing make sure you come and um say hi once again thank you very much until next time i've been knock you've been awesome see ya <laughs>